There are lots of different options when you're getting ready to crop your image here inside of Perfect Layers. On the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to go ahead and select the Crop tool. You'll notice it automatically applies an overlay on my image so I can get ready to crop. And up in the Tool Options bar, this is where you can make lots of adjustments to the crop that you're going to make. On the left-hand side of the Tool Options bar is a drop-down menu that allows you to adjust the specific size of your crop box. By opening this up, you'll see there are tons of different options in here. You can stick with freeform, which means that I can adjust my crop box no matter what size it is. I can choose a specific ratio. Right now, this image is a one-to-one -one or a square ratio. Let's say I want to get it ready for an 8x10 print. I can scroll down, select 4x5 or 8x10, and it will adjust the crop box for me. Opening this drop-down menu up one more time, you'll also see that there are specific sizes for paper that you might be using. There are specific photographic sizes. There's also specific square sizes. Now what these are for is when you're getting ready to print your image, and instead of adjusting the ratio, you're adjusting the actual size of the photo. If I know I want to print this on a piece of paper, that is 17 by 22 inches, I'll select the paper drop down menu and I'll go down to 17 by 22. It'll save that size for me. And up in the tool options bar, you'll see that there are width and height boxes that now say 17 and 22. By clicking the double arrow key in between the width and height, I can adjust the orientation of my crop box as well. So if I'd like this to be a landscape, or a horizontal image, I can click that. And if I want to switch it back, I can click that one more time. Also, to the right of the height box, you'll also see an inches drop down menu. If you're working with centimeters instead of inches, or you want to be very specific and use pixels, you can make this change here. You can also type in a custom width and height. Let's say that instead of 17 by 22, I want this to be 15 by 20. It's a 17 by 22 print, but shrunk down by 2 inches. Now I've customized my crop size. In the drop down menu to the left, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll also see there is a custom menu. If you don't have any custom sizes, you can create your own by selecting manage custom sizes. Inside the dialog box that pops up, if you click add, it will pull the information that is typed into the width and height box. So when I typed in 15 by 20 inches, it saved that information. Now I can type in a name. We'll go ahead and just call this 15 by 20, and I'll go ahead to the bottom and click OK. Now I'll have access to that size if I know that I'm going to be printing it a lot. You also, in the middle of the tool options bar, have the ability to adjust your pixel per inch ratio. If you open up this drop down menu, you'll also see that you have access to pixels per centimeter. You can type in a different number depending on what type of printing or exporting you're going to be doing. The other tool that's extremely useful here is your level tool. You can click on the leveling icon in your tool options bar, go ahead and select that, and I can click and drag inside of my crop box to re level my image. Let's say that I want to adjust this horizon on the right hand side. I'm going to click and drag over the area that I want to straighten out, and it will automatically adjust my image. To manually rotate your photo, you can hover your mouse on the outside of your crop box near the edges of the corners, and you'll see a circular arrow mouse pops up. If I click this, I can now go through and I can rotate my image depending on how I want this to look. You can also go through and just straight rotate your image. Here on the right hand side of the tool options bar, you can rotate it counterclockwise or clockwise. Once you've made adjustments to your crop and you're ready to go, on the right hand side of the screen, at the top, you'll see an apply button. You need to make sure that you hit apply to make these changes permanent. We'll go ahead and select that option. My image will automatically crop and now I can move on to the rest of my editing.